My name is Lou Hack. I'm from San Francisco, and I'm nominated for Excellence in Media Production. My project is based on PTSD. So many people are completely incapacitated by post-traumatic stress disorder, but it doesn't have to be that way. And by documenting my friend's journey, he's showing that it's survivable. It's not a happy journey, but it's certainly survivable, and you can get out the other end. I'm really surprised the impact that this project has had. I mean, this thing has been seen all over the world. And when people watch this, it gives them license to open up around their own life, and it's healing for them. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is widely misunderstood both in the civilian community and the military community. What my project does on PTSD is it elevates it, it brings it into the sunlight, it airs it out a little bit. It shows one person's journey, and his openness in going through that is inspiring to others. Hi, I'm Joseph Hill, and I'm from, originally from Houston, Texas. I am nominated for game design. Well, what's being nominated is called Penumbra Effect. It is a sort of your typical space shooter type of game, but uh, add a little twist where you had like a sort of targeting system in there just to give it a little more of a challenge. I enjoy space shooters, and I also remember in high school there was this uh, flash game I used to play that was kind of like a whack-a-mole type of thing, and I just ended up combining them together to make it a little more interesting. I'm John Juan. I'm nominated for Excellence in Directing. The film is talking about a clarinetist who practicing his music in this apartment that being, you know, people complain about his music, so he got to go out and play on the street. So it's pretty much like every artist like us, that when we're pursuing our dream or follow our path, we'll get a lot of disturbing things, you know, not happy moments. Sometimes we get confused, like, should I follow the mainstream? or sometimes follow your own heart. The message in the film I want to deliver is just having fun and don't think about too much and overcome this fear about, you know, the unknown or the future. I feel like I want to tell the stories to other people and that's a big part of the reason that I want to be a film director. Hi, my name is Alfonso Perez Nicolás. Uh, I'm from Madrid, Spain. And I'm Ziyang Wang, or call me Lucia, and I'm from Beijing, China. And um, I am Ivan Lee, and I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii, and we are nominated for the Excellence in VR Production. So our project is called The Room. And it's a psychological thriller. And it will immerse you into the VR experience. Uh, yeah, I love working on this project because it was a collaborative experience that I've never had. I was able to work with um, uh, motion pictures department and like editors and like special effects makers. Um, and I think that's the best part of, of being here at AAU. It's an interesting experience for us, uh, have all this uh, new technology, 360 cameras, great studios. Uh, it's been a great, a great experience for us. Uh, and I feel really joyful to be with these guys, to work together and chat together, discuss the story, what the story would go on, and, and to talk with all the teachers and use all these facilities. And, yeah, this feels amazing. My name is Justin Lee. I'm from San Jose, California, and I'm nominated for Excellence in Concept Animation. The work that's nominated is called When Echoes Linger. It's an opening sequence for a hypothetical movie about a protagonist visiting uh, their dark past. And so to really face head on, this person has to go back to where he grew up. The message really is how animations and typography could really help uh, conceptualize the stories. I don't know if there's like one thing that really inspires me. I just keep my eyes open and just in my everyday life I'm always looking for something that's visually captivating, something that could really, I think whatever captivates my attention I'm always intrigued and always want to kind of emulate it into my style or somehow replicate it and um, kind of reverse engineer how a lot of designers out there are um, producing these uh, visualating or visually stimulating works. So, yeah, I just think that the world around me is always an inspiration for me. My name is Sixin Lin, and I'm nominated in Excellent in Editing. My major is film directing. And then this film is really interesting. It's about, you know, a screenwriter always hide in the restroom to steal other people's stories. No matter uh, male or female restrooms, these screenwriters just you know, go over there and then 
still other people start until one day. So it's a tragedy. So I really focus on humanity and the society because human beings, they are always curious about the human beings. So that's why I want to, you know, focus on the humanity. And uh, sometimes I prefer to, you know, discuss the, the conflict between the humanity and the society. My name is Flo. My name is Fu Shen. And we are nominated for Excellence, Excellence in Virtual Reality, reality experience. experience. I think that this piece is about dance, but it's about so much more. And I think it's about a group of people who want to enjoy their lives and enjoy nature and, and really find the most positive experiences they can through dance together. Never judge people by their outfit and enjoy yourself. It's really an opportunity to uh, get into their perspective and to step into another perspective of dance. With this piece, I think we wanted to bring dancers and non-dancers into the world of uh, dancers who are a little different than the traditional dancer. They are thinking out of the box. This dance group that we follow in this mini documentary is more than that and everything in between. And they're also helping each other deal with issues that they've developed through the dance world. So um, it's a very therapeutic group that this little mini doc follows and um, we wanted to bring people into that world and that's why we chose to make it in a virtual reality. My name is Hannah Luxenberg and the nomination is for Excellence in Virtual Reality Experience. So the nominated film is an empathy piece in virtual reality where you get to experience a schizophrenic episode for yourself. It's a story where you're going into a tea house with your friends from college and within the midst of this situation where you're just hanging out and having fun, you get a certain trigger that happens in the room and then you start to experience things that are just a little bit off. It's focused on everything happening around, so every single area is immersive in some sort of way. So my nomination, the film stands for um, acknowledgement of mental health. I think it'll be fun. So really the film goes beyond me and, and what I did. It's so that people can understand how important mental health is and understand from a different viewpoint what different people go through. My name is Pratt Majmadar. I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm nominated in the category of Best Picture. Uh, my film is called Alone. Um, Alone is a film about a writer who is suffering from insomnia. He's been in his room for a long time and one day he decides to go out, but he, he's not sure if the world's ready for him to be accepted and give him a place in it. Um, with this film, it's all about like finding a social connection. Human beings are social beings, and we all need each other to survive and progress. And this film is all about that. It's about how loneliness can affect you in ways that you cannot imagine. And it's about like pushing humanity forward and asking questions, trying to figure out your know, own answers. My name is Cole Mitchek. I'm from Evergreen, Colorado, and I'm nominated for directing and documentary filmmaking. Um, my movie is about my friend Alex, who grew up in Germany, and it's about his tr the transition he made after moving to America. He is a uh, transgender female to male, and I just sort of documented his story. I think mainly it was probably to educate people, because me going into it, I really didn't know much about what, what it meant to be transgender before talking to him in depth about it. And I think there's a lot of people who don't know. Uh, so it's just to educate and then to also, just to tell someone's story was important, I thought. My name is Kiyomi Mitsuda. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm nominated for Excellence in Podcast. Shark Bay is a podcast where I talk to you about what is happening in the Oceanic community, highlight a shark in episode, and I also talk to really cool people like a world famous shark expert, Dr. John McCosker. What I really want people to learn from this podcast is to really appreciate the ocean, and sharks are one of the most misunderstood creatures on our planet. And I want to help. We should really start protecting them because without them, 
the ocean will die. And people are saying, well, then if we keep on doing what we are doing right now and not protecting them, next like 50 to 100 years, there won't be any sharks in the ocean. And that I don't want to have my grandkids or their great grandkids say, like, what is this fossil? You know, like, oh, they used to be a great white shark. It used to be one of the prettiest, most beautiful, interesting shark in the world, but now they're all gone. So I hope that by creating this podcast, it will enlighten people and people will be more aware and you can still be scared, but just don't do anything rash <laughs> about it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Next Up Award Show. This is the pre-show, our red carpet show. I'm DeAndre Gallopone, standing with one of our nominees, our first interviewees. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Maria Chiara Venturini. <laughs> and you are? Austin Esposito. Also a beautiful name. <laughs> so what are you nominated for tonight? I'm nominated for the category of music video production and creation, I guess. That's awesome. <laughs> Something like that. Sure, right? I'm only going to maybe win an award. It's fine. <laughs> and are you nominated for anything tonight? I am. I'm uh, nominated in sound design. Wow. Please tell me about your pieces. What was the inspiration? What's the overall summary for those who don't get to see them tonight? Uh, my music video. I don't know. Like I got inspired by like kids drawing and I tried to create like, this word. Everybody was into a kid's drawing, and I'm dressing like a kid's drawing. I don't know. If no, you get. Can we look at the outfit? Look at this full amazingness. This is right here. And can you tell me a little bit about yours, real quick? Uh, so mine is about my creative process as an artist and a filmmaker. It's uh, kind of a literal visual representation of my creative process. It was an assignment for my creative process class. So. Perfect. Two birds with one stone. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me. Really appreciate it. Head on inside, enjoy the show, and good luck. We have our next nominees coming up. Pretty sure we're going to meet all everybody tonight. All right. Thank you so much for talking to me tonight. Can you tell me who you are? Tell them what you're nominated for so we can put a face to the award. All right. um, my name is Laura, and my film is actually nominated for cinematography and me for Awesome. A little bit about your piece for those who don't get to see it tonight. All right. Uh, my piece is a music. Basically, uh, it's kind of a visual metaphor. The whole piece, um, and it, it comes from Marco's kind of creative um, techniques. So. Do you mind if we step up? You know, it's a red carpet. Sans red carpet. So we got to keep it fun. <laughs> Sorry, you were saying. That's all right. I was just talking about Marco's music video techniques. Our professor here includes a nap, so that was pretty pretty fun process coming up with the idea for the video. Awesome. So we got a shout out for a professor. I hope that you win tonight. We're going to be rooting for you. Thank you so much for talking to me. You're free to head back inside. <laughs> and do we have time for one more person? All right. Nope. We're going to see some of the people's work right now. So look up on the screen and check out some of the nominations work. My name is Keja Alexandra, and I'm nominated for the Excellency in Music Video uh, Creation and Production. My major is motion pictures and television, and I'm focusing in cinematography. I choose motion pictures as my major because I think it's a compilation of all arts. We got everybody working in this one art piece, and I think it's the best artwork. The message in my uh, music video that was nominated is basically realizing your subconsciousness regarding your sexual desire, as well as how um, human psyche tends to develop over time and how human personality adapts and influences surrounding. My name is Ricardo Ayar. I am from San Francisco, California and I'm nominated in the Excellence in On-Camera Performance. My major is Communications and Media Technologies. I like being on camera because I think it gives me a chance to like, express my like, enthusiasm for pop culture and just for stories in general. When I'm on camera, I want to 
give someone a like uplifting, positive experience, I want them to take that away. I'm a fan of like Jimmy Fallon and like Trevor Noah, like people who use humor to communicate ideas and tell stories also using humor. I try to incorporate that as much because it's what I like to watch. It humanizes you, so like it makes you more relatable. My name is Aniela and I'm nominated in the categories of excellence in music video, creation and production. The music video will go in the dark forever um, was a very beautifully composed uh, song by Catherine Park. We were trying to um, communicate that um, our memories from the relationships that we have uh, remain forever. Giving birth to stories and characters is what always inspired me to be a storyteller. Being now able to write my own stories and um, bring them to life while uh, filming them is always a, a great way of expressing um, our, ourselves, our deepest thoughts, and um, definitely who we are. My name is Terrell Butler. I'm from Oakland, California, and I'm nominated for excellence in on camera. My major is communications and media technologies. I feel perfectly comfortable being on camera. The hardest part is just like trying to conform to what the show is about. That's what I really try to do is try to bring what I have and then help it conform to what their vision is. Right before they call my name, I get a little bit of adrenaline rush inside and then when I walk to the stage, like it's on. When I hear that first little laugh and the crowd is feeling it, then I know like it's like we gonna have a good time. When you have like a bad day or something and then you see something in regular ordinary life that a comic said and you just start laughing, like that's what I want, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna leave an impression on people that is like, you know, it's fun, like life is fun sometimes. My name is Sky Chen and I'm from Taiwan. I'm nominated in Excellence in Editing. My major is Motion Picture and Television, and I'm in Editing Check. The film I nominated is called Ploy, and it's a Thai show, show film, and it's a horror film. When I edit this film, I want to build up the uh, mysterious and the horror atmosphere uh, in this film. When I edit, uh, it's fun to like take those footage to play around with different ordering to tell a story. My name is Marichara Venturini and I'm nominated for excellence in music video creating and production. The whole story is based on like how life can give you really sometimes dark, can bring you in dark places and if you embrace or like fight these dark places you can in a way find the light even in those places. During the whole music video he struggles and at the, at the end of the music video, as I said, like he embrace and he fight his nightmare. He fight almost like a kid, so he fight with his own imagination. I always loved um, those drawing of like kids, kids drawing that are somehow really dark. And I decided to recreate a world based on those drawings. I think everybody needs to have a hope, even when they're there. So I hope this is gonna help them to understand it. My name is Juan Manuel Corredor. I'm from Colombia, and I'm nominated for excellence in concept animation. I'm an MFA student of the graphic design department. The project at the end was to come up with a movie title and a set of posters. I was trying to give my interpretation of dreams through typography. I used a lot of abstract shapes and, and, and a variety of techniques to represent how convoluted and abstract dreams could be. The typeface was, uh, was made by me based on the, on the concept. I based it on something that already existed, but I completely transformed it using uh, ink and acrylics. It was, it was an interesting experience to have, and it uh, kind of opened my mind to different uh, possibilities when it comes to uh, uh, creating new ideas. My name is Megan Cullen and I'm nominated for the Excellence in Documentary. My major is Motion Pictures and Television with an emphasis in Directing. I knew I wanted to do film since I was a young girl. It was just always there for me, it was just always something I wanted to do. The message I would wish to achieve with my piece is for women to um, find their voice. It's about sexual assault, just like a long series of 
journals that I put together. It was a really a therapeutic piece for me to like get my voice out about it. Even though you go through rough patches, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. What inspired me to be a storyteller was wanting to like get stories out that need to be talked about. My name is Austin Esposito, and I'm from Rancho Cucamonga, California. I'm nominated for Excellence in Sound Design. I'm in Communications and Media Technologies. The video is about my creative process. It shows me making coffee and writing some notes down and failing to come up with any ideas and then going outside to kind of refresh myself and get some inspiration then going back in and writing some notes down. I think the audience's takeaway from my piece could be that your creative process doesn't have to be this deep exploration of how you work as a creative person. I'm showing it in a very literal sense. I said it's, it could be getting coffee and going outside for inspiration. It doesn't have to be some spiritual journey, although it could be. Uh, but at the same time, it could be as easy as getting a cup of coffee. <laughs> My name is Raquel Flores and I'm nominated for Excellence in Game Design. I find the connection between players and the characters in video games a very special kind of connection. The way someone can find something in common or something personal in a character is just fiction. Minas is a game about King Minas going into the labyrinth that he built for the beast, for the Minotaur. And while doing so, he discovers all the terrible things that happen to the people that he sent there to die for the Minotaur. The inspiration came from Joseph Campbell's work in, with mythology, Greek mythology. As you go traveling into the labyrinth and go deeper and deeper, you're going deeper and deeper into yourself, into your own personality. We can all, in a way, when we're playing as Minas, find our journey into the labyrinth and see how our decisions have repercussions in other people's lives and in our own lives. My name is Matthew Forbes. My name is Sam Sailhayan. My name is Andrew Michael, and we're nominated for excellence in branded content. The brand that we chose to make the film about was a shoe company that caters to both urban and natural environments. We tried to just make sure that the point was made that the shoes work in both a city landscape as well as in a natural landscape. There's always an insight when it comes to advertising. You have to be able to tap into that target audience, and I believe our target audience are people that go out, you know, have a steady life, but also have a more natural life and wanting to go out and explore things. My name is DeAndre Gallopo. I am from San Jose, California, and I'm nominated for excellence in on-camera performance by a female. I feel like it's an honor because people are choosing you to represent not only like the face of their work, but it's basically their baby. You know, like people put a lot of heart and soul into a program, and I think that people choose really specifically what they want or who they want to represent the, for them as the voice. I enjoy it because it's helped me grow a lot as a human to constantly see yourself and hear your voice and see what you look like. In the end, you learn to accept what you did. You learn to accept how you're portraying yourself and it helps you grow. Everybody, welcome back to the pre next up show hope you're staying warm inside it's a little windy out here I um, hope that you guys enjoyed those interviews we're here with our next interviewee uh, please introduce yourself hi I'm Alexandria Washington and what are you nominated for today um, I'm not particularly nominated a couple of things that I worked on are nominated um, Laura Morris's music video called poison is nominated for best cinematographer um, with, for Joe Joseph Barrett, and um, she's also nominated for Best Production Design. Awesome. So that's another big part. You don't need to be nominated. Everybody has work with and can collaborate here at the school. Uh, what school are you a part of? Which department? Oh, um, MPT. MPT. And what are your goals after uh, college? I'm going to New York. To do what? Make What's your focus? Music videos and short narratives. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. You can head on inside. I appreciate you. 
And next up, we have a nominee. Hey, this is Priscilla Moore. I already know her. But you can introduce yourself and tell us what you're nominated for. I'm Priscilla Moore, and I was nominated for the Excellence in On-Camera Performance along with Dee. So this isn't awkward. No, I'm just kidding. We also live together. <laughs> so can you tell me what it feels like to be, you know, nominated for On Camera? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just an honor in general. Um, I've been here for two years, so to be able to submit work and be nominated is just an honor in itself. Good luck to you. Win, lose. It's a win for the house. <laughs> you can head on inside. I appreciate it. I'm, so that's all the time we have for right now. That's not time. Take a look at our nominee package. <laughs> Um, my name is Laura Morris. I'm originally from England and I'm nominated for the category of production design. The music video for Poison is, I would say, a metaphorical visual representation of what the, the character is feeling, which is this concept of um, poison as the re a relationship and how that relationship can be both poisonous as well as something that you can't live without. My initial inspiration, I guess, is based, based deeply in um, visuals and how different visuals, not just in film, but in, in any area, can um, really impact people. And I've always been a strong believer in just creating the visual first and finding the message second. Um, and it's something that a lot of people don't quite understand or don't quite agree with. They think, you know, you've got to come up with some kind of message first. but. Um, this video really allowed me to explore that kind of subconscious image making idea, um, which was really kind of freeing and a great creative process. My name is Mark Mueller and I'm nominated for excellence in media production. So my nominated piece, Saber Legions, is about a group of people in the Bay Area that practice the theatrics of Star Wars that has received worldwide attention. and. I want people who watch this piece to realize that there is a place that they can go where they can express that love for Star Wars and express it in a way that can also be very healing. I had no idea when I went into this project how big of a community that this is and you know just you know you watch it and you feel good and it's it's, it's exciting and that's what I want people to get out of it you know that there is a place for people for geeks you know, that love Star Wars, that they can go and express their love for Star Wars. That's really what my piece is about. Okay, my name is uh, Tanvi Parke. And my name is Laura Rivera. And, and we're, we're nominated, nominated for, for Excellence, Excellence in, in Sound, Sound Design. Design. It's about overcoming your fears and going through that adventure, but through experiencing it with the innocence of a child and going through something very surreal. When you're in an audience and you want to be pulled into the story of whatever film or TV show you're watching, a big part of that is what you're listening to. Because if you don't hear anything, you're not really being pulled into that world. And it's the subtleties in music and sound that really make the world that you're watching come alive for you. Sound is such an underdog in, in, in every production. Um, you know, not many people value it, and if it's done right, people don't realize it's, it's there. So um, I think the fact that I wanted to know about this magic, uh, that kind of pulled me into this, this major. My name's Angelica PK. I'm nominated for excellence in live action documentary filmmaking. My documentary is about family and it's about a 19-year-old girl who decides to go on this journey of joining the military and the impact that that has on the family. What inspired me to be a storyteller is the fact that I love to tell stories. Um, you'll see it in the documentary a little that me and my sister and my brother, we always fight over who's going to tell the story. <laughs> and personally, I think I'm the best storyteller, so it's going to be me. <laughs> and I'm the oldest, so I have to tell him to shut up. <laughs> My name is Giselle Prado. I'm from Fremont, California. The category I was nominated for was Excellence in Podcasting. My podcast's name is called Rad Rasa. Rasa means race in Spanish. 
The piece that I submitted was called En Comunidad. It was a segment in the show, and it was a highlight on Sylvia Cardenas. She is an activist in the Ethnic Studies program at San Francisco State. The message that I want to send out to the world with my podcast that is now an existing uh, radio show on Urbanites Radio at the uh, AAU is that Latinos and the art pursuing the art is possible and that it's thriving and we can do it. And there's voices right now, I think, that are being misrepresented, detained, restricted, and for those who do pursue the arts or pursue a career in media, we need to be that outlet for them. I chose screenwriting because uh, I've always been a fan of making movies, and for me that was always sort of the, the funnest part of the process. It kind of all starts with the story, and so it was a good place to kind of be able to, to get started with the, the process. My name is Spencer. I'm from Indiana. The script I'm nominated for is called UFO, and I really wanted to tell a story that at the heart of it was um, about a couple who was having problems uh, with their communication skills and tangled into this is a life-changing event for one of the main characters and when he still fails to communicate this properly it ends up being just sort of a ridiculous uh, sort of absurd tragedy for the couple at the heart of the story. The bottom line of my work is to sort of highlight some of the the smaller things sort of the the day-to-day -day mund mundane aspects of life that can sometimes uh, snowball and play a bigger part of your life. My name is Ramiz Sheikh from San Francisco, California. I was nominated for Excellence in Motion Graphics. That piece was uh, for my Motion 3 final. Um, we did a title sequence, or imaginary title sequence for a Motion Graphics Film Festival and just had a lot of fun with that, making this like spaceship kind of go through space and stuff. So, um, if I was to give advice to a student who's starting at Academy of Art, um, I'd probably say Try to work with the best students you see in that class, the people that have like a style. And I think the more you focus on doing that, that'll kind of like take you in the direction that you want to go and bring out the better projects in you. And also always collaborate. Don't work alone. Always get feedback and iterate on your things and don't leave things to last minute, <laughs> even though it sometimes comes to that. But yeah, that's what I would say. My name is Manling Zhou. Uh, uh, my nominate is for Excellent in Media Production. This piece is talking about um, the service. Uh, a bakery which, which name is Shenki, um, they have over 20 stores around the San Francisco Bay Area. And actually, I'm curious about how they survive, survive during the past 20 years. And I want to make a video to uh, let people know that that mm, no matter how bis how big your bi big business is, uh, no matter your business is big or small, you have to keep doing it and um, keep the quality. Hi, my name is Otto Wacker. Uh, I'm Basically from everywhere, I've uh, lived, I was born in Kansas, uh, graduated high school in Alabama, moved all over the South growing up. Uh, I moved out here 11 years ago from New Orleans, um, so now I'm from here. Uh, and I am uh, in the category of branded content. My film Seven for Seven is actually a four part series that I made about the USA Olympic Sevens rugby team. And every episode is them at a different location on the world circuit heading towards the Olympics. Initially, I wanted to show the struggle and show that you know, these people are doing it for the love of the game and for the passion, and also to, you know, for, for America, you know, for, for pride and national, national pride you know, at the Olympics. I like telling stories, and I like to mix you know, the, uh, the stories that all my friends say. You know, and like, I get inspiration from them. I get inspiration from people actually living life. And um, I don't know, I, I, I guess I want to show people, um, show people, uh, give them an experience that they may not ever, they may, they may never have, you know? And I think that you can, experience, you can experience that through, you know, through stories, through, you know, really good storytelling, dramatic images.
Hey everyone, hope you're getting real comfortable inside. We're about to start, but we have one more interview left, and I'm standing here with our last nominee interview of the night. Please introduce yourself. Tell me what you're nominated for. Uh, my name is Mark Mueller, and I am nominated for the Peace Saber Legions in the category Excellence in Media Production. That's amazing. Can you tell me a little bit about your, your piece? Uh, what was your inspiration? Uh, well, my piece, uh, the idea came when I uh, did an internship with Disney uh, during The Force Awakens. Uh, I felt as though I was living, breathing, and eating Star Wars for two months straight. So uh, me being the sci-fi geek that I am, I was looking for companies that were making lightsabers. And in my search for companies making actual lightsabers, I discovered that there was a whole community of people dedicated to the martial arts and theatrics of Star Wars uh, all over the country, and especially a huge concentration here in the Bay Area. So I reached out to them. Who would have known that? Yeah, I reached out, and next thing you know, I've got a crew of my classmates, and we're going out and we're filming, you know, Jedi Knights, you know, battling at Stern Grove and, you know, hitting each other with lightsabers. It was a very. Did you participate? Uh, the first time, no. The second time, yes. That's awesome. It was absolutely amazing. That's so. amazing. Well, next up, maybe you can do like Quidditch. From Harry Potter, I'd really appreciate seeing that. Fantastic uh, sequel. There you go. There we go. Yes. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Good thank luck you. tonight. Thank you so much. Head on inside. Get warm. Yeah. Well, that concludes our next up pre-show. I'm your host, DeAndre Gallipo. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the first annual Next Up Fest. University. Hey everybody, welcome back to Slice of Love. Hi, I'm Bay in the Bay, and since I'm introducing you to the coolest things in the city. Are we really the most advanced species in the universe, or just the only ones? Live from Union Square in San Francisco, it's the first annual Next Up Fest, presented by Academy of Art University. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening from Urban Nights Radio and stages across California, award-winning comedian Terrell Big T Butler. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hello. And welcome. Thank you for coming to this awesome event tonight. I am your host. My name is Terrell Butler. Some of you might know me as Big T, okay? Yeah. All right. I see you out there. That's cool. <laughs> How about a round of applause for that video montage we just saw, huh? Clap it up. Yeah? That video, that video included work from every, almost every nominee in this audience tonight, okay? So make some noise for yourselves if you made the video, okay? All right. Let me tell you, a little bit about myself, all right? My name is Terrell. I am a comedian. I am from Oakland, California. Yeah, yeah. 
If you don't know what that means, it means laugh at my jokes, because I will rob this place, okay? <laughs> oh, you think I'm lying? Coo-coo, coo-coo. That means don't do nothing yet, okay? Help me help you, all right? Let's have a good time tonight, all right? All right. Everybody, do me a favor real quick. Take a look at me, all right? Take a look at my face. Just drink it in. Just soak it up one time, all right? I just want everybody in this building to know that I am not Anthony Anderson, all right? That dude from Blackish, I'm not him. Okay, Bob Toy? I'm looking at you, all right? I'm, t- I'm talking to you now. He gets it. He gets it, all right? The truth is, they really did want to get a celebrity host for you guys tonight. They really tried, but Kevin Hart wouldn't pick up his phone, okay? and we couldn't afford Dave Chappelle, and Chris Rock flat out said no, okay? So I'm afraid you're stuck with me tonight, all right? But hey, I love you back, thank you. That's all right too, because I'm one of you. I am one of you, all right? I'm a senior here at Academy of Art University. Yeah. I will be walking the graduation stage with some of you next week. 2017 graduation class. Make some noise out there. I'm also nominated for an award tonight as well, okay? And I look out in the audience and I see all the friends and family of all the nominees here tonight. So everybody give a round of applause for your support system that's in here. Yes, a lot of clapping. There's going to be a lot of clapping in this intro, okay? So get used to it. Clap your hands, boy. I see you. You ain't cool. Clap. Clap. I'm not going to... There you go. Clap. Boy, too cool for school right here. All right? That's cool. All right. And online, we're we're joined by even more friends and family and fans of great production from around the world because this show is being streamed live by our own student production staff. So how about a big round of applause for them working hard backstage, all right? Yes. And yes, for you in the audience, we do have a hashtag for you. It's hashtag NextUpLive. That's N-X-T-U-P Live, okay? So please, we want you to join us on Instagram. We want you to do your, do your Snapchatting, everything you need to do, all right? I also have Hillary Clinton's email password if anybody in here needs it, okay? Yes, yes I do. But no matter what, no matter what our language, no matter what our culture, what really brings us here tonight is our love for seeing ourselves on TV. So how about we get the cameraman Turn the cameras on all these beautiful people here in the audience tonight, all right? Make some noise for yourselves, all right? Because you guys are the next up, okay? Right now, you are sitting, you are sitting next to the next big names in animation, the next big names in video game design, the next name in movie directing, all right? So get to know your neighbor because you may need a job one day, okay? I'm just keeping it real, all right? (laughs) Seriously, the Next Up Fest is a celebration of excellence in production and movie design right here at Academy of Art University, okay? And of course, we're here to celebrate you because of your amazing work tonight, all right? The work that you have created. Everybody who receives an award tonight does so because your fellow students voted for you, okay? You are the best of the best. So give yourselves a round of applause, man, for making it this far, all right? A lot of clapping, a lot of clapping. All right, so is everybody here? Is everybody ready? Is there anybody that's not here tonight? All right, I just want, before we keep going, I just want to let everybody know that tonight we're going to give away an awesome prize to one lucky person in the audience tonight, okay? So stay awake. (laughs) And now let's get the show started. 
here to present the first Next Up Award in the category of cinematography. Here is a director in the School of Motion Pictures and Television, Mr. Ken Farrow. Clap it up for Ken, okay? <laughs> Joining Ken is MPT student rep, Unique Cooper. Thank you, T. The art of cinematography. <laughs> the art of cinematography is photographing what is possible in the director's mind. Wielding light, shadow, color, and contrast, all in service of the story. But it's not just a collection of tools or an accumulation of skills. The cinematographer must have the heart and sometimes the courage to break the taboos. They are the fighter that literally lights up the film. Tonight's nominees for excellence in cinematography are Meng Men Men, Painted Lady. Okay. This is Meg Men Men. <laughs> Joseph Barrett, Poison. To win, Zuo, the other side. And the award for excellence in cinematography goes to Yuito Kumura. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, this uh, award is Daniela. It's not like me, so please applause to Daniela. It's my director. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. I'm so surprised. And yeah, enjoy today. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, congratulations to you. First award of the night, make some noise for him, all right? Our next category this evening is in production design. Here to present that award is the lead of production design in the School of Motion Pictures and Television, Chris Boxel. Yeah. Joining her is Unique Cooper. You be saying your name on there. <laughs> you start. Felice Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Collaborating closely with the director, the production designer helps create the world of the story, bringing visual style to movies and television, taking imagination and putting it into the screen. The sets and environments the production designer creates transport the audience to the past, present, and future, and to visions of this world and beyond. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the nominees for excellence in production design. Juan Diego Escobar Alzate, our friend in Colombia, for the colors of hope and wonder. Henry Wang for painted skin. Do I get to see these? Okay, it's okay. Laura Morris for poison and Savannah Yarjo for a thousand cranes. What are you supposed to do? 
Oh. Now watch. Watch. not La La Land. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to award the excellence in production design to Savannah Yerja. <laughs> A thousand clowns. Um, I'd like to thank <laughs> I'd like to thank Chris for being as awesome as she always is, and May, my talented art director, and Chastin, my set dresser, and my three favorite men, Will and Hank and Craig. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. To present the award. For editing, joining Unique Cooper, here is the editing lab manager in motion pictures and television, Leah Garcia. Okay. <laughs> when people think of filmmaking, more often than not, the role of the editor is overlooked. Truth is, without the editor, film would be as just a series of moving images. So tonight, we celebrate those wizards behind the curtain. The nominees for excellence in film editing are Sky Chen, Cloy. Feng Hai, the last scene. <laughs> Dandelion Lin for the screenwriter in the restroom. and Daisuke Konagai, who will glow in the dark forever. And the award goes to Daisuke Konagai, who will glow in the dark forever. Daisuke is not here, so we just want to say thank you for him. Yeah. He did an amazing job. He was a great editor. Mm -hmm. um, anything else? Uh, I'm videoing yeah. for Daisuke, so guys. <laughs> Alright, thank you Leah and thank you Unique. Music video is next. Where's the music video at? 
Presenting the award in this category is a man who has directed music videos for some of the biggest names in entertainment. He teaches making the music video for MPT. Please welcome Mark Core. Hey. Thank you. Um, music video is a powerful and popular art form. It provides young directors with a, um, a chance to establish themselves as um, auteur filmmakers and gives them the creative leverage to really go on to the set and, um, and, and make a really strong career. Um, I'm incredibly proud of the four women who are up for this award. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the nominees for excellence in music video. Uh, Maria Chiara Venturini. Bob in the Rain and the Lizard of Hope. Uh, Keja Alexandra Supi, Darklands, Wilk and Miski. Daniela Bornstein will glow in the dark forever. <laughs> and Lucia uh, Zavarchikova, um, Black Keys Moneymaker. Great work, really wonderful stuff. Um, and the award for excellence in music video goes to Maria Chiara Venturini. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna faint. Um, okay, I forgot all the people that I have to thank. One, it's my crew, my amazing crew that helped me to do this amazing job in such a short time. The second one most important is this man over here that inspired all of us to go beyond our imagination. And the third is all the women that work in movies that finally have a voice and keep me going in this field that it's pretty hard for us. And my family, I think. My family that is watching me from Italy. So ciao, mama, and thank you, everybody. <laughs> Awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winner or recipient. <laughs> the next award is in the category of immersive technology. That's VR, virtual reality. I had to, I had to Google it, okay? I don't even know. All right. <laughs> Please welcome the executive director in the School of Motion Pictures and Television, James Egan. Hey guys, good to see you guys. Congratulations, this is a fantastic evening. And as you probably all know, VR is gonna be changing the way we communicate. I mean, they're saying that it's more important now than the, when the cell phone was first introduced. We have VR t in medicine and travel and, and education and like the hottest video on the internet right now is a VR beer party by Dos Equis. 29 million hits. So it's gonna be really something that's gonna change us in the way we communicate. And we have created a program, thanks to the president, that just started a year ago. And we have two students from all schools are allowed to take this program. Tonight's nominees, oh, awardees, are Flo Lawrence Lubson.
Sigma Free, Hanna Luxburg. Alfonso, Nicholas, Ivan Lee, and Lucia for the room. Oh. Hada Jang for fishing. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> Obviously, you need to see these films with a headset. And they're all on Veer. For instance, the, the Veer has, uh, uh, the room has 50,000 hits on Veer right now. 50,000, made probably 60 by today. So the winner, the, I'm sorry, the excellence in virtual reality goes to Hara Zhang. This is, she, she, captured, she captured virtual reality with a camera and introduced these augmented fish. It's a breakthrough in gaming. It's 30 seconds, but it's amazing breakthrough. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first, um, I took this class uh, with James, so I'm really appreciate for accepting me for your class. And also, I have a lot of friends who encourage me to uh, do more and have a passion. I want to say thank you for my friends, Humphrey, Hank, and Shangte there. <laughs> and, and my awesome professor on programming department, Adrian Hovest, also coming for me. Really thank you for uh, coming to me. Um, I, uh, I mean, at last, uh, I really want to say thanks for my parents, Chuseop Zhang and Myung An. Because of our good facilities, my parents um, are watching me now through the streaming live. So <laughs> I'm really thank you for my parents. <laughs> um, I want to say about the meaning of my name, um, my name is Chang Hada in Korean. It means good job. I think I'm really good job now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Well, thank you, good job. <laughs> What's your name? Good job. All right. Our next category is sound design. And here to make the presentation is the director of music production and sound design, Brad Hughes. Thanks, All right, thank you, boss. Good evening, everybody. Sound. Sound creates the third dimension of a two-dimensional medium. And now, with the emerging field of VR technology, 360-degree sound, drives the narrative by telling viewers where to look next. Sound design creates the sonic world inhabited by the characters and adds depth and dimension through dialogue, sound effects, foley, and ambience. 
The nominees for Excellence in Sound Design are Tanvi Podki and Jonathan Wilson, Galamsey. Tanvi Podke, Wishing Box. <laughs> Tanvi Podke, Jonathan Wilson, and Laura Rivero, The Colors of Hope and Wonder. Austin Esposito, My Creative Process. And the award for excellence in sound design goes to Austin Esposito, The Creative Process. Hey, congratulations. Great job. Great job. Well, uh, that's very surprising. That's some good work up there by uh, the other nominee, Tanvi. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody who voted. Uh, thank you to my instructors in my classes. Thank you to the instructors uh, in MPT and COM who have uh, taught me so much along the way. And uh, thanks to my family and friends for supporting me. Thank you guys. Oh, sorry. Here it is. There you go. Thank you. That's the most important part. The next category is music scoring. Music scoring creates the emotional world of characters and story. Music can intensify or relax the pace of the action, reflect interior thoughts of characters without using dialogue or help to anchor a story in a given place in time. Often, music can communicate things to the audience that other parts of the production cannot. And together, they combine to create something greater than the sum of its parts. The nominees for excellence in music scoring are... Zoe Davis and Guanhamanuka Gay, Wishing Box. Jeffrey Ulrich, Circle. <laughs> Bryson Shearer, The Briefcase. Brendan Wolf, Minos. Yeah. And the award for excellence in music scoring goes to Zoe Davis and Guanna Monica Gay, Wishing Box.
Thank you. Um, we would like to thank our professors, Steve Romenko and Dirk Epperson, for helping us through this process. <clears throat> we would also like to thank uh, the director, Lizzie, of this animation for allowing us to work on the project. Uh, we would especially like to thank our project partner, Tanvi Fadke, for her immense help and support. Uh, the three of us are actually great friends now yes. uh, because of this project, and uh, we're kind of very grateful for the project and for the animation collaboration class in general. Also, and I'd be very like, happy to be, have like, like family, like group. We learn each other and have fun with, uh, to record Foley, to record the music. It's a really, really good like, experience for us. So, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Congratulations, team. And thank you, Brad. Thank you very much. How you guys doing tonight? You having a good time so far? Okay, all right. So as I mentioned earlier, tonight, some lucky person in our audience is gonna win an awesome prize tonight. And here it is. It's a brand new iPad Mini 4, all right? Yes, ooh, yes. So near the end of the ceremony, we're gonna, we have a big bowl, we're gonna draw one name out of that bowl, and that person is going to win this prize, okay? And you're probably asking yourself, how did your name get in the bowl already, right? Well, if you voted for somebody in this room tonight, and that includes yourself, then your name is already in the bowl to be in the drawing for this iPad mini, okay? So don't worry. You did not miss uh, getting a ticket outside. You're already in the bowl, all right? So make some noise. We're going to give this away later tonight. And it could be one of you coming up on stage to receive this rule, OK? There's only one rule. We have to all be in agreement, OK? You have to be in the building tonight to win this award, OK? So if you're watching online, you still got time to come down here and join us, OK? <laughs> We're not going to give it away till towards the end, but you need to be here in the building to make to get this award, all right? So if you're just joining us, I'm going to talk to people online. If you're just joining us right now, we are live in San Francisco from Union Square presenting the first annual Next Up Awards. I am your host, Terrell Butler. If you're watching online and joining the nominees in the house tonight, Everyone, please check out the website, nextupfest.com. That's N-X-T-F-E-S, N-E-X, N-X-T-U-P, fest.com. They're spelling it differently, okay? Thank you. Please, please use the hashtag nextuplive, N-X-T-U-P, live, so that we can find you on social media and we might post your tweet or your Snapchat on the big screen, all right? So get involved with that, all right? Let's get on with the show. In the category of screenplay, to make the presentation from the School of Writing for Film and Television and Digital Media, here is Stuart, Stuart Thomas. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. It's very nice to be with you. Um, all filmmakers have stories to tell. I think we all agree that, yeah? But those stories have to be considered. They have to be refined. They have to be structured. And that's where the screenwriter comes in and writes the thing, which is not as easy as it sounds, trust me. I know I speak for all of the screenwriting instructors tonight when I say it's such an enormous privilege to work with so many talented students. But it's my particular pleasure and privilege tonight to present to you the four nominees for excellent in screenwriting. And those nominees are... Chris Hoffert. Antonio Torres Walker.
Spencer Query. And is that the lot? Was that four? Dylan Kroll. There he is right there. Did you forget to give us a title page? It's your fault. No, I don't believe it. Anyway, so the award for excellence in screenwriting goes to Spencer Query for UFO. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody first off. Um, I also want to say thank you to Dylan for being the only other screenwriting nominee to show up tonight and also the one not <laughs> mentioned in the video earlier. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, screenwriting is sort of, you know, kind of a lonely craft, I feel like, as shown in the attendance of the, screen, <laughs> the screenwriter nominees that showed up tonight. And uh, you know, having having people read it and say that you know that they enjoyed with it and connected with your work um, sort of helps make the process feel just a little bit less lonely. You know, you've connected with somebody else in a way. And so, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Hey, congratulations! Congratulations to Spencer. He's in my writing class. I know him. Hey guys, at the Academy of Art University, we have our own advertising program. It's called Young and Hungry. Young and Hungry in the building, okay. Here with the nominees for best branded content representing the School of Advertising is Jenna Mamel, director of MPT. Hi. Um, and the nominees are Otto Wacker for Seven for Seven, Andrew Mikhail for Sake Before It's Dark, Joey Larson, Cohen Newson for Lords. <laughs> Joey Larson for Glory and Reason. Excellence in branded content goes to Joey Larson for, for North Face, Glory and Reason. Hello. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Congratulations. Um, yeah, thank you guys for all voting, uh, first and foremost. Um, second, I would like to thank my mom for letting this opportunity happen and sending me to school. So thank you, mom. And um, thank you all for the votes. Thank you. And I get to do this again. Um, so the award is for commercial creation, and the nominees are Johnny Juarez for He Speaks.
Joey Larson for North Face Glory and Reason. J.C. Ahn, Ricky Mendoza, May Rijos, and Nicole Valdestino for Adidas. <laughs> and Johnny Juarez, Sarah Go, and Maylene Zebolt for Jays. And the award for excellent in commercial production goes to Joey Larson, North Face Glory and Reason. Um, deja vu. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Joey. Short and sweet. That's how I like my women. All right. Thank you, Jana. Thank you for hooking that up. Okay. Hey, you guys, the fastest growing sport in the world today has to be eSports, okay? And here with the nominees for excellence in game design is the lead of game design for the School of Game Development, Steve Goodell. Hello. Uh, with me tonight are the Game Department student representatives, Maddie Christian and Dante Finn. <laughs> OK, here we go. <clears throat> so we all know what games we like, the ones that make you stay up at night until 3 AM when you know you have work the next day, the ones that virtually transport you to new, wor new worlds that truly make you feel you're in the fight of your life against the biggest, baddest monster you've ever dreamed of. Transcending, game-bending, and genre-defending game, genre-defining games, sorry, that artfully use exciting new technologies and immersive narratives, leading to infinite awesomeness. <laughs> it is our great pleasure pr to present the nominees for excellence in game design. <laughs> Nick Livingston, Super Duper Ship 2. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chao Wang, Empty Bottle. Raquel Flores, Minos. <laughs> Joseph Hale, Penumbra Effect. And the award for excellence in game design goes to <laughs> Chow Wang, Empty Bottle. Thank my excellent team. Thank my excellent partner, Li Fu Li, um, my three sound designer, uh, Emily, 
Ella and uh, uh, Chelsea Sparks. Thank my great instructor, Goody, Mark, and uh, Jason Wisner, who gave me a lot of help and uh, a lot of advice. Thank everyone. Thank all my game testers and my friends. Thank you. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right, congratulations to that winning team right there. Here to present our next award in the school in, in web design media is Ryan Medeiros. All right. Thank you, sir. Um, I just want to say you guys are a fashionable bunch. I'm liking the styles. Uh, so I'm here to give the award for motion design. So with motion design, animators tell stories with text, illustration, and 3D graphics. We find motion design in television advertising, live event graphics, animation. and online infographics. Motion, di motion design attracts us, holds our attention, and explains in ways that a camera rarely can. It's my pleasure to introduce the nominees for Excellence in Motion Design. Fumitako, Fumitaka Saito, Ride a Bike. Maurizio Pucardo, Jung Su Jo, Jay Yoder, Playgrounds and Title Sequence. Ramiz Sheikh, Suna Young, Keith Gibson, Off Title Sequence. Dale Shin, Caressa Cunningham, Ethan Chang, Justin Lee, Sarah McClanahan, Yannick Gong, and the last one. <laughs> All right, and the award for excellence in motion design goes to Maurizio Bucardo, Jung Su Jo, and Jay Yoder, Playground Title Sequence. So those recipients are not here tonight, but we will make sure that they get their award and we uh, congratulate them a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are we still enjoying the show? Yeah. All right. Uh, because I'm getting ready to graduate and leave some of you students here to carry on at AAU, they asked me to give out my top three words of wisdom, rules of advice to the students that are carrying on. So what I have for you right now is what I call Big T's top three survival tips to make it at AAU. Are you ready? Okay. Number one, make sure you have a big breakfast before you leave the house, okay? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so make sure you eat up. Eat healthy, eat hearty, it's gonna be a long day, all right? Rule number two, shower before you come to class, okay? <laughs> that's not a joke, that's real life, all right? <laughs> you don't wanna be sitting next to somebody you could be offending a, a future partner, you know, in a project, and you don't wanna be known as that dude with the BO, okay? And my last rule for surviving here at AAU is no matter what you do, at all cost, please stay away from 8.20 a.m. classes, okay? <laughs> do not do those. Do not sign up for those, all right? If you must sign up for a class that starts at 8.20, do what I do. Get to, get to the building as early as possible, okay? Find you a nice little corner, a little nook, a little cranny in the room there, curl up, 
and take a nap, okay? This is going to be a long morning, and I'll fall asleep in plenty of 820 classes, and it's not fun, all right? I just want to let you know. So those are the Big T's top three rules for making it here at AAU. Yeah. Please, you guys, please, you guys, another reminder, please keep hitting us up on social media, all right? The hashtag is NextUpFestLive, N-X-T-U-P Live, okay? And we will keep showing your tweets and Snapchats and Instagram photos all throughout the show on stage, and you be sure to follow us and we'll follow back, all right? And now let's keep the show going. And now to present the Next Up Award for 2D Animation, please welcome from the School of Animation and Physical and Visual Effects, Beth Souza. Thank you. Thank you. 2D Animation is a magical medium where drawn images come alive and entertain us with their hijinks and drama. It can span a tremendous range of styles limited only by the artist's imagination. 2D animators are even venturing into the realm of virtual reality, and they're opening for us a world that we've always dreamed of where we can personally walk in and enjoy our favorite storybook worlds. The nominees. Animation is a very collaborative process with many people in, in this project alone. Over 60 students worked on it. Um, but the leaders of this project, the award goes to Kapala Knight, Asha Stopra, Vesi Stamanova, Sarah Marshman, and their crew of student artists, technicians, and composers. And, uh, to uh, accept the award for the crew is key animator from the project, Cedar Rain Yellow Mule. I just want to say that I am grateful to accept this award on behalf of the entire Kupala Knight team. And I would like to give thanks to a couple of our staff members, Beth Sosa, Daisy Church, Sasha Corrales, Catherine Tate, and Steve Romanko. And as well as the staff members, they're the reason for this whole project. They helped push all the students to, so we could finish this project. And I cannot tell you how much blood, sweat, and tears went into this project. And we are so proud to see it done. <laughs> Thank you. And now representing our 3D program, Derek Flood. Camera, action, lights. That's the order we do things in CG animation. Did you know that? We don't actually say that, but they also don't actually say that on the film set either. So you're learning so much tonight. <laughs> Wishing Box was the vision of two students, Lizzie Zhang and Nan Lee. But it really came to fruition through a whole crew, we could call them a pirate crew maybe, of um, students in our Studio X class. So. Let's roll the clip.
So without further ado, I'm thrilled to present the award for Excellence in Animated Short Film 3D to Wishing Box, Lizzie Zhang and Nan Lee. teammates and professors, it's my big honor to work with you guys in the past three years. Thank you guys. And a special thanks to Derek. Thank you. I guess I'm announce announcing Catherine. So um, the next category is um, excellence in VFX, and this is uh, Catherine Tate. Visual effects allows us to make worlds that cannot be fully accomplished during a live action shoot. Goliath uses live action elements, computer generated imagery, and miniature work, all combined and integrated to sell a new reality. This was a project completed as a collaborative project in Studio X, which is meant to immerse our students in a real world experience so they can learn their craft at a professional level. We have many people who worked on this project, some of whom are here right now. I'm just going to announce some of the people who are here. Producer Jennifer Hernandez, who not only was a producer on the project, she also operated the miniature robot on set. Um, uh, Tomohiko, who's a compositor on the project, who won an award at our spring show for compositing. Uh, Jazz Sai, who was able to match, digitally match the camera so we could put in our visual effects. Um, I'm presenting this award, um, award um, on behalf of the whole team and accepting on behalf of the whole team is our co-visual effects supervisor who worked tirelessly, tirelessly last summer on almost every aspect of the project to bring it to a professional level. So I'd like to uh, present this award to Goliath and to Ethan Chang. Thank you. Um, a big thanks to our director, um, Phillips, um, Robin Phillips. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank, thank him to brought in such an amazing project that contains everything um, a VFX artist can dream of. There's robots, there's explosions, there's everything. And um, I'm really proud that I'm in this um, team. And VFX is never like a woman job. So this reward goes to like every artist and producers work on um, work on this project. Um, thank you, thank you so much. All right, congratulations, congratulations on your award. Now we move on to more animation. This time, concept animation. Here to present the award in this category is the director of graphic design. Phil Hamlet. Hello, everyone. At its core, graphic design is the use of words and pictures to communicate ideas and concepts. Whether it's to create unique experiences or to bring the brands that we create to life, increasingly our students are throwing things into motion to make their efforts more memorable. Tonight's nominees for excellence in concept animation are Ashley Rice. My name is Ashley. Juan Corredor with Earth Like. Annika Schneider with Pink Elephant. And Justin Lee, Echoes Linger. Yeah. 
All righty. And the award for excellence in concept animation goes to Annika Schneider. Um, thank you. I didn't expect that, so I didn't really know what to say, but thanks to everyone who voted for me. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Roxanne and Irene. <laughs> and yeah, a huge round of applause for all the nominees tonight. You guys are awesome. All right. Congratulations to all the nominees and all the recipients so far. You guys are watching online the first annual Next Up Awards presented by the Academy of Art University, live from San Francisco inside Union Square. I am your host, Terrell Butler. Leading up to this evening, the directors and the faculties of all the departments, they received and voted on over a thousand, they received over a thousand nominations to review for this award ceremony tonight. Okay, and then your fellow students are the ones who voted for you to receive this award. So when you see them, make sure you give them a nice handshake or a piece of chocolate. Say thank you. Don't forget, one lucky student is going to win that brand new iPad Mini 4, okay? And you have to be in the building in order to win. We will call as many names as it takes in order to get a winner from somebody who is here. So if you're running late, I'm talking to you out there, if you're running late and you still want to get here, if anything, for that iPad Mini 4, OK? You don't want to see Big T go home with it. Come here tonight, OK? So is everybody still having a good time? Our next award is for Excellence in Media Production. Here is the director of our School of Communications and Media Technologies, my mentor, Jan Yanahiro. <laughs> Joining her. And joining me is Camille de Guzman. She is our graduate student representative, and Camille is one of our fabulous international students. She is from the Philippines. Hi, How about that? All right, in communications and media, our assignment is to tell your story. And we do it with videos, music videos, drone videos, VR productions, esports productions, and live streams from volleyball to basketball. And with our signature shows, too, you know, we produce Academy Idol, Academy Game Night, and sometimes the personal story can be so compelling. Here are the nominees for Excellence in Media Production. Mark Mueller, Sabre Legions. And our Camille de Guzman, right here. She's a nominee. Her piece is strength. And Madeline Jo for Shenki. Last but not least, Lou Hack, when good men break. And here it is, the envelope sealed by Leah Garcia and her team. The excellence in media production goes to Camille de Guzman! 
Um, thank you to all my classmates. Thank you to Steve. Um, I did this for his class, and thank you, my boyfriend's watching through the live stream. Hi. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Camille. All right, now here at the university, we have our own radio station. I'm sure you all know. It's called urbannightsradio.com. Find us on the iHeartRadio app. We are 24-7 online. The number one song playing right now, if you're listening, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Of all the college radio stations in the country, we are in the top four. And really, the person who made it all happen, the founder, the general manager of Urban Nights Radio, and everyone's favorite podcast instructor, that would be Maddie Stout. Webster's defines podcasting as the greatest form of entertainment in the history of humankind. At its heart, though, podcasting is the oldest form of entertainment because it's a spoken word. It's storytelling. Podcasts create empathy, and the two folks who were nominated are part of a podcast program that was one of the first podcast programs in the United States of America uh, on a college campus, and I'm very proud of both of them. So without further ado, here are the nominees for most excellent podcast. Giselle Prado, Red Raza. Kiyomi Mitsudo, shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. All right. And the award for excellence in podcasting goes to Giselle Prado, Red Rosa. Um, I had class in this room like a couple days ago, um, but I'm never up here. Um, so my show is called Red Rasa. It's a Latin show, one of the existing Latin shows on the radio station. It has become my baby. Um, what they teach us in COM is what we have to do is brand ourselves. And I graduate next week, and it was really important to me to find something to do before I left, and Red Rasa has kind of become my brand. Check me out. <laughs> I'm on the air every week. Um, follow me on IG, Red Rasa. <laughs> but you're basically looking at a production of passion. I just really found what I like to do, and I want to be on radio, and hopefully you'll hear me on the radio someday. Gracias. Our next two categories, excellence in on-camera talent. You know, it takes practice, skill, more practice, talent, yet more practice, and presence to master being on camera. And the nominees for excellence in on-camera talent for male are... Ricardo Ayar. Terrell Butler, our host. Hey, don't open yet. Don't open yet. Hold it up. And the award for excellence in on camera talent male goes to Terrell Butler. Wow, 
Come on, say a few, just, say, just, say a few words there. So I just use this? Yeah. Okay. I just want to thank everybody in the department that voted for me, every, all the students that voted for me. Um, I want to thank Jan for mentoring me over the years to make me a better on-camera personality. I want to thank Maddie for uh, believing in me in the radio production program and making me a production manager of uh, our great radio station. Uh, I just hope I keep making everybody proud and uh, be a part of the Urban Nights family, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Big T. The next category, Excellence in On-Camera Talent Female. The nominees are Priscilla Morrow. Basketball, come on, she's in the basketball team. DeAndre Gallipo, basketball again. And Bailey Suzma, volleyball. And Camille, do the honors. And the award for excellence in on-camera talent female goes to DeAndre Gallipo. First off, thank you to my department. Um, everything I am is because I learned from this school and I really appreciate you putting up with me and hyping me up to be on camera. Um, thank you for trusting me to be on camera. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. No, um, I'm just like really inspired by everybody's, ooh, excuse me, <laughs> professional. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just really inspired by everyone's work. I mean, you guys put hours, and I don't even know what goes into that. Um, I'm just very inspired by your guys' work. Um, and if I just get to talk to you and get an award for it, it's just my honor. So congratulations to everyone who's here. And um, a big congratulations to my fellow nominees, Bailey, Priscilla, you guys are awesome. And love you guys. Love you all. <laughs> Congrats, seniors, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's the MCOM department representing. <laughs> All right, I told you we were gonna give away brand new iPod mini four. Didn't know. We also had a case. It's the case, brand new case donated. So we have a case, no, oh, no, no, this is all one prize. <laughs> I was like, who wants to win a case? No, this is all <laughs> one prize, okay? <laughs> I got Miss Unique Cooper on stage here to join me. Give Unique a big round of applause, huh? Here is the bowl, all right? If you voted for any nominee, that includes yourself, your name is in this bowl. Now you have to be here in order to win so Unique, I want you to get in there, dig deep, stir it up, and pull out my name, okay? <laughs> just one, just one, just one. Make a decision. Oh, there we go. Henry Stills. Henry Stills. <laughs> and we checking, we're checking student IDs, so make sure Wait. you have it. Wait. I know okay. this guy. I know this guy. Uh, well, he's not here. Too bad. <laughs> That's all right. Leave him out. I... Dig deep again. My name is in there somewhere. Pull it out. <laughs> all right. 
Next person is Kiyomi. Matsuda, Kiyomi. Kiyomi? No? <laughs> Slip in. Oh. That's all right. That's all right, because that's my department, so I'm close. I'm close. Let's go. I want it too. <laughs> Roxanne Mata. Roxanne! <laughs> that sounds like somebody that's here. All right. Come on up here, girl. Come claim your prize. Yes. Yeah, hold on to it so you know where your student idea. No, I'm just playing. 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 No, that 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 that, that was you. That was authentic. Uh, we know you win. You want to give a little, little something? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you, Unique. Our next category, our next award category is in documentary filmmaking. Here to make the presentation for documentaries is the school is this is in the school of motion picture and television, Janice Engel. Let's go, clap it up. How y'all doing? Documentaries, documentaries, hmm. Excellence in documentary filmmaking, hmm, let's see. Two words come to mind. Janice Engel. <laughs> Enough about me, let's talk about you. All you all, and all those people who make documentaries back over there somewhere. Three words do come to mind when I think of excellence in documentaries. Courage, craft, and truth. It takes courage to tell stories that need to be told, craft to get the job done right, and a good nose for the truth. All the documentary films in this category exhibit this bottom line criteria. It is my great pleasure to present the nominees for excellence in documentary filmmaking. Cole Mitchick, he. Joey Larson, High Hopes Fisherman. <laughs> Megan Cullen, Megan Cullen Self Portrait. Angelica P.K., why do anything in life? And the award for excellence in documentary filmmaking goes to Joey Larson, High Hopes Fisherman. <laughs> Triple threat. Boy, you never even took documentary. Thanks. No, I didn't. Here you um, go, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, as you guys probably know by now, I'm, I'm not really good at making speeches. Um, what I wanted to represent in this documentary was how important the life of blue collared workers are in our society too. Um, it's easy to forget that in a city like San Francisco where it's run by technology and tech, but um, I just want to give out a shout out to all the people up there that uh, still work hard like fishermen to supply us with our food and all that good stuff, so thank you. All right. Congratulations, Joey. Thank you, Janice. Our next category is directing. 
And here to make that presentation is the Academic Vice President of Entertainment and Broadcast Media, Melissa Seidman. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of papers up here, you guys. You have no idea. So much good work. So the director controls a film's artistic and dramatic aspects and visualizes the script while guiding the technical crew and the actors in the fulfillment of that vision. Tonight's nominees for excellence in directing are Cole Majic, he. Juan Diego Escobar Alzate, Colors of Hope and Wonder. Major Gloria A. Downey, Forgive Me, Father. John Wong, the clarinetist. I don't uh, like that view so much. So tonight's award for excellence in directing goes to Juan Diego Escobar yeah. Alzate. Congratulations. As you can tell, we're not Juan Diego. Not <laughs> but um, on behalf of all of us at the Colors of Hope and Wonder, we, we thank you. Any it's for you, Juan. I know you were watching. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. In fact, he's watching from Colombia. All right, congratulations. Congratulations to the team. Thank you, Melissa. And now the award for excellence in motion picture creation and production. Here to make the presentation is executive director of the School of Motion Pictures and Television, Jana Memo. Joining her is Unique Cooper. Creating an excellent film requires teamwork. Every department contributes to bringing the vision of the director into focus. Without writers, actors, cinematographers, production designers, editors, and all the other skilled craftspeople, there is no film. This award goes to every single person who works on the nominated films. The films are Juan Diego Escobar Alzate, The Colors of Hope and Wonder. Ignacio Laturia, Fresh Fish. <laughs> Leaky Lynn, Painted Skin. Pratt 
my Mudar alone. And the award of excellence goes to Juan Diego Escobar El Dante. Say something. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Juan Diego is at home, but. I know he appreciates your votes. All right, thank you, Jana. Unique, thank you very much. Once again, I want to say congratulations to all the nominees and all the award recipients tonight. I want to send a special shout out to the student production crew that's working hard right now. Let's give them a big round of applause. We got. We got seven cameras. We got seven cameras in here. We got a bunch of people backstage pushing buttons and making things happen. They put together all the videos and nominee projects you've seen tonight. They did the live production outside. I want to send a very special shout out to Mr. Steve Cotton, executive producer of tonight's show. He's been working hard. He's been visioning. He's been visioning this program for weeks now. He's he's been trying to game, gas me up to be the host of the show tonight since January. Okay, and I want to give a big shout out to him because without him, we would have none of this extravaganza that we have tonight. So big, make sure give another clap for Steve. All right, you guys, that's it. From the Next Up Fest in Union Square, San Francisco, I'm your host, Terrell Butler. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Get home safe. Have a good evening. Live from Union Square in San Francisco.